<laughs> what am I doing? Hi everybody, welcome to Reality. Today I'm going to be doing a super fun S1 Helmets unboxing video. So I wrote down from S1 because I'm really terrible at gear upkeep. I have definitely tended to have the if it's not broke, don't fix it mindset, and if it is broke, duct tape it. Uh, all my pads are super super old and falling apart and only stay on if I tape them. First of all, my knee pads were just like in absolutely tragic condition. So bad. Um, one of the caps on my knee is actually cracked almost completely through. It's kind of hanging on by a thread, so I just like taped the cap on. So I have some really big boxes to open and we're gonna see what's in them. So first, what we have here are the S1 knee pads. Um, I am beyond excited to try these. I've been wanting to try them forever. I've seen them um, at the S1 booth at tournaments and I've seen them on my teammates and they look absolutely awesome. I hear they've gotten great reviews. These are beautiful. Wow, and so heavy duty. Like these definitely feel like a huge step up from what I had before. They have a really nice, um, they're like neoprene, I think they call them like butterfly straps where they wrap around your leg like this and then it straps on top to tighten. I got the ones with the matte black caps and you can also get them with white caps too, but I just wanted them to be as streamlined looking as possible. So the padding on these feels amazing. It is super, super cushiony. It's like denser than a normal knee pad is, I would say. Like there definitely feels like there's some rigidity to this foam. It's not just like a big marshmallow on your knee. Um, that being said, like right in the center, there is the um, softer, more like memory foamish feeling foam, which feels really cushy and I think is going to feel great on your knees when you fall. Um, I'm going to try this on. I have heard that these run a little bit small, but I did go ahead and get the small anyways because um, my knees are pretty tiny and I really, really hate when knee pads slip down. So that's a big concern for me. So I decided to err on the side of getting it tighter and um, with kind of the thought that it may loosen over time or that I just would definitely rather have a tighter knee pad than one that's falling down on me. Uh, these feel awesome. They fit really well. I'm really glad I got the small. Um, there is, it feels like there's a little room at the cap if you are a person who wants, Calvin, you keep interrupting my video. This is my cat Calvin. He wants to be involved in everything, especially videos. Why don't you go hang out in a box? How about that? We got a bunch of new boxes. You love boxes. Um, I'm glad I got the small. It definitely feels like there's a tiny bit of room in the kneecap if you were a person who wanted to wear gaskets with these. Um, all right, so I'm gonna take a little knee and see how this padding feels. I love the, like the, the coverage and the balance of where the padding is at. Um, I have some knee pads that the padding is very, very cushy and large, but it sticks up so far forward on your knee that it makes it feel like it's always slipping from side to side. These feel like when you go down on your knee, you know you're gonna land right in the center where you're supposed to land and there isn't any like twisting action that feels like it's gonna happen. Um, Cause that's a pet peeve of mine on another pair that I have. As far as cleaning them, it looks like it's going to be really easy because the back, um, it doesn't even have any Velcro or anything. It's just this flap that you pull up. You can see that foam insert in there. You just pull that out and you can wash them really easily. They also sent me a shirt. S1 helmet, tanky top. Love it. It's so soft. Now for the big box. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> All right, okay, we have some helmets. Um, definitely was only expecting two helmets, but there are more than two in here. All right, this is the Chrome Gold Lifer Helmet. Um, I love Lifer Helmets so much. They're my absolute number one favorite kind of helmet. <laughs> oh my God. I, I don't know if I can even communicate the amount of chrominess that is happening here. Uh, this helmet is literally a mirror. I'm, I like can literally look 
in here and see my reflection. The great thing about lifer helmets is that they are way, way, way more protective than a soft foam helmet. These soft foam helmets that you may have seen people wear, they just have a soft foam inside of this plastic shell, and this does not adequately disperse the force of an impact at all. The S1 Lifer is actually five times safer than a soft foam helmet, um, and that's thanks to this fusion foam that they line the helmets with. It is adequately going to disperse the force that happens when you have an impact. Um, the soft foam on the inside here is just for sizing, so um, it adds a little extra cushion um, and makes the helmet feel nice and snug. Um, and I love that you can easily swap these out if they get dirty or if they get old and crusty or worn down. Um, it's super easy to swap them out. They're just these Velcro uh, inserts. Pretty much all of them are the same size shell and then the thickness of this foam determines how it fits your head. So I got a small helmet, so this is probably the most soft foam you'll see in these helmets. It gets thinner and thinner for the bigger size helmet you get. Um, if you have a particularly tiny head, you can actually order an S1 Lifer Mini. Um, or if you have a large head, they actually make an S1 Lifer, it's like an extra large one. I seriously cannot believe how shiny this is. Um, I feel like when I'm in the sun at the skate park on a hot summer day, I'm just gonna be blinding people. But that's okay. Um, I, you know. Get, sometimes you just gotta be a little extra, a little flashy. Um, each helmet comes with one of these cool sticker sheets. Uh, it's a very large sticker sheet with lots of fun stickers that you can stick all over your stuff. So that's super cool. All right, next thing. Um, I'm so excited for this one. This is the S1 Retro Lifer Helmet. Um, I'm sure you've seen these popping up on all your favorite skaters, and I really, really wanted to get one too because they look so flippin' cute. All right, so this helmet is like a Lifer helmet, except for it has extra protection on the sides that dip down um, and cover your ears. The padding system on the inside is pretty much the same with the S1 Fusion Foam as the main protective foam, and then the soft padding for sizing and extra cushiness. Um, the ears also have a, so a soft padding around it too. Oh, these side ones are removable with a snap, so that's really cool. Okay, yeah, so you can even take these out and wash them too. Um, they snap in right on the ear. Oh, wow, this thing is mega. All right, oh wow. Um, I feel super safe. I feel like I could go like jump a 10 stair right now. And <sighs> This is definitely what I'm gonna be wearing when I do any like vert skating or skating in big scary concrete bowls. Um, I will say the only downside to this helmet is it does muffle your hearing just like a tiny bit. Um, there are these holes to help sound get through, but um, definitely muffles it a little bit. It's like absolutely no problem, you can still hear everything you need to. It's more like I think your own voice just sounds weird. So if I'm screaming, I'm sorry. I love the stripes down the middle. I think I definitely want to get a graphic to go on the side. Um, something retro motorcycle looking maybe would be cool. This helmet is so cute and definitely uh, if you've noticed a lot of people are starting to wear them. I think they're going to be a huge trend for this year and what a cool trend. A trend that makes everybody safer. Uh, how awesome is that? Woo! Definitely helps to like pull the ears apart when you take it off a little bit. So I actually got an extra gold helmet in here. Um, I think this means I'm gonna need to do a giveaway. Uh, I actually just reached a thousand subscribers, which is crazy and amazing. Um, wow, I think we need to celebrate by doing a giveaway. So uh, I'll give you guys details on how to enter that and you can win this gold lifer helmet. <sighs> That's it. Thank you, thank you, Dan from S1 Helmet, so, so much. Thank you for supporting our community in all the ways you do, and thank you for making such amazing products that keep us safe and making helmets and stuff that people actually wanna wear. That's bravo. Make sure you guys follow the S1 Helmets roller skate channel. It's pretty new on YouTube. Um, it's amazing. They're putting out so much awesome content, and I think they have a ton of awesome stuff planned for the future, so make sure you check them out. Also like and subscribe to my channel because we have new awesome videos coming out every week. Um, I'm sorry I've been a little behind. Um, I did some crazy traveling and we just got into our travel, scene, travel team season for roller derby and it's been hella hectic as I'm sure you all know how that goes. 
Um, but I promise I'm going to be back to posting regular videos. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I put out new videos every week. Be sure to like and subscribe and tell your friends. Uh, see you next week on Reality. Bye! <laughs>